Okay, I'm gonna look at the count of three. Yeah, yeah. One, two, two and a half, three. Oh my gosh, you can't do this. Yes, you can, yes, you can't do this. Three. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes, 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 yes. we're pregnant. Oh, we're pregnant. What did I eat today? I went on a roller coaster yesterday. What room are we gonna put the baby in? I need to call my doctor. I can't wait to buy teeny tiny outfits. We're gonna be parents. We're gonna be parents. Hey, Burst TV. My name is Kelly. I'm a registered dental hygienist. I'm a proud Burst ambassador. And most importantly, I am a mother to three beautiful babies. So I know all those crazy questions that go through your head when you finally realize you're gonna have a baby. But one thing you might not think about is to call your dentist. I know, and you're probably thinking, Kelly, why do I have to call my dentist? My mouth is way up here and my baby is way down there. That is a great question. Here we go. <sighs> Research has shown a correlation to dental infections and preterm birth and low weight babies. And please don't let this topic scare you or panic. This information is here to help you or spread awareness to a friend because knowledge is power. The mouth is the gateway to the entire body and it is filled with good bacteria and bad bacteria. And when I say it's filled with bacteria, I mean it's filled with billions of bacteria. And now add in pregnancy hormones on top of all of that. Yikes. But don't worry, there are ways to prevent gum inflammation, tooth decay, and gum disease. But before we get into the good oral care tips and tricks, let's dive into the research. I was a swimmer, could you tell? <laughs> 20 million infants worldwide are born with low birth weight, and almost 11% are born premature. And due to hormonal changes during pregnancy, women are more susceptible to gingivitis. And we're talking 60 to 75%, so it's very common. What's also common is periodontal disease which is a condition that is responsible for a chronic inflammatory challenge in the body. But listen to this. If treated during pregnancy, the risk of a baby being premature is reduced by 50%. I don't know about you, but I thought that was just so amazing and it just shows that this is just essential to managing this risk factor. So it's just so important that women and their healthcare providers and their dental team are aware that Good oral hygiene is not just for the mothers, but it's also just for the health of your baby. So now that I kind of know all this, how do I up my oral health game? Great question, I got you. Use an electric toothbrush. It cleans 10 times more effectively than a manual toothbrush. It has a two minute timer on it, so it keeps you accountable to brush for that full two minutes and then alleviate more of that bacteria from your mouth. Brush two times a day and floss one time a day. I know flossing is everybody's favorite, but again, it's very important. Get right underneath that gum line and alleviate the bacteria in between your teeth where your toothbrush does not touch. You can try an oral probiotic. This helps incorporate more of the good bacteria in your mouth to help fight the bad bacteria in your mouth. And call your dental team. Schedule an appointment with your local dental hygienist. You can get a cleaning every three to six months, and this is depending on your personal oral health. And it's good to note that these studies are not suggesting that this is just the single factor to preterm and low birth weight babies, but that more vigilance is needed for gum health in addition to your prenatal care. Hey, click the thumbs up button if you found this video helpful, and then leave a comment down below and share what helped you keep up your oral health game while you were pregnant. Thanks for watching, guys.